Oh my goodness, that's right, edgy video here, Fortnite Smash. Welcome everyone to the video, my name is Ali A. I'm sure 12 year old kids have already hit the dislike button, left a comment down below saying, You know what, ain't thoughts? You know why you don't like Fortnite? Because you're not good at Fortnite and LEA has more subscribers than you do. But if you already haven't watched the video and you agree with me and you're tired of Fortnite, please hit the like button because I know little kids are going to go nuts trying to hit the dislike bomb on this video. I guarantee it. So we need to offset the autism in this video. So hey, be a bro, hit the like button. And hey, while you're at it, subscribe. But Fortnite, for me at least, in my opinion, if you're enjoying Fortnite, let's just get this out of the way. Let's just be Canadian about this because I'm Canadian, eh? If you enjoy Fortnite and you have a good time playing it, right on, man. That's no big deal in the world. We're just talking a stupid video game here. If you want to play Fortnite and think it's the greatest game ever and you want to play it 24-7, you want to watch Ninja Streams, you think Ali is an amazing content creator, maybe you think he's a total retard, I don't know. But if you enjoy Fortnite... <laughs> It doesn't matter, man. Enjoy Fortnite. But this is my opinion. This is what I have to say about it. And I know I'm not the only one that thinks this because I put this tweet out on Twitter because that's where you put tweets on Twitter. I wouldn't put a tweet on Facebook. No, no, I wouldn't. And, and this is what the whole video is about right here. Fortnite sucks now. Yep. I'm saying it because I'm an edge lord. It's played out boring. Same thing happens every time you drop. There's not enough variance to the game to keep me interested anymore. I'm bored after two matches. That's exactly how I feel about this game. And it's got 508 likes and 51 retweets. That's a lot of people agreeing with me. But I really think the big push in this game, I really think the people who are actually keeping this game alive now are kids. Just like, you know what, that's where the money is in anyways in the long run. I mean, the number one most successful channels on YouTube relate to kids. Remember the big Minecraft huge explosion? But now it's not nearly as popular. Well, I think it's actually completely gone. But at the time, it was the biggest game ever. They had that. They had their own Minecraft or Minecraft Con or whatever the heck the thing was called where little kids would go there and make themselves look like idiots. And just, you know, it's pretty much like an autism convention, let's just be honest. But that's where, <laughs> but Fortnite is definitely appealing to little kids now. I mean, the number one Twitch streamer is Ninja. Don't forget to use your Twitch Prime sub, kids. I mean, like, you know about this little clip here, I'm sure you've seen before. Do not make fun of anyone. Dude, what a lucky stick, dude. All my shit was unloaded. God oh. damn it, why, what, dude, those that little piece of shit, they rushed me because they knew who I was. One million percent. No reason they leave out of town to kill a solo dude no way they're on the highest building and they go for one guy they didn't go for the entire time dude this is, oh man what a bunch of cuck lords man i would have destroyed that kid you are a fucking loser and now he's got totally family friendly because when he swears or plays things that are like inappropriate to kids, he literally loses like 50,000 people watching his stream. Because the majority of the people who watch his stream are little kids who basically parents don't want to take care of because they're embarrassed of their child because their child is a moron who likes Ninja. But they just let Ninja babysit them for him. But like, yeah, the game is boring. It's the same thing over and over again. You just drop down. There's no variance to it. There's no variables. There's not enough difference in the game. I don't care how many jetpack stupid playlists they add. I don't care how many new little skins they add i don't care what kind of gunplay they had at the end of the day it's the same thing you drop down most people go to tilted towers because they since they put a tilted towers in the game it completely ruined the flow of it because if you don't drop tilted towers you're only gonna get like one or two kills before the end of the circle and you're playing like your name was alex Ramy. while we're at it let's also make more people mad console fortnite sucks unless you're nick merc compared to pc pc i played both is way sweaty dude it's a bunch of 17 year old adderall taking wannabe ninja tsm myth and daquan players it's ridiculous console Console is sort of like remedial retard class. It's a bunch of kids with hockey helmets on that just got home from school. They're eating their freaking pop tarts, and, and, the, and the parents are too busy having inbred cousin sex in the back of their El Camino to take care of them. That's what console is compared to PC on Fortnite. I'm telling you, unless you're Nick Merck, that guy is a beast. And now everyone's also super duper excited about the fact they're adding 100 million dollars to esports. How do you make this an esport, man? I know it's popular, but how do you make this an esport? It's completely random. 40, 50% of the game has nothing to do with skill, but luck. Who finds the best weapon? If I drop into the map and you happen to find a pump shotgun and I got a pistol, I don't care if I'm Ninja and you're Ricky Berwick, you're going to drop my ass like that because you got the better weapon that had nothing to do with skill has to do with the fact that you had luck and i didn't you happen to drop and find a gun or someone gets a golden scar or if you happen just to be where the freaking care package drops and you get an rpg 
Don't even get me started on the RPGs. That is the least skilled gun in the whole game. You just blah, 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 spam it at people. And I know someone's going to say, You know what I thought? You just got to get better, scrub. Just build a wall. And then the RPG can hurt you in five. And what I have to say to you is go f*** yourself. Because I build a wall. And you know what happens? I get splash damage through the wall and I get smoked anyways. And then a guy just keeps launching more RPGs at me. And I'm too damn old to be dealing with this freaking bullshit. So to bring it all back around again, the kids. They're carrying the game. They get their parents' credit cards. They buy some dumbass skins. They go watch Ninja Streets because their inbred parents are too busy making love in the back of an El Camino to take care of them. And then they send them on their way when they're going to school to watch Ali Ye freaking videos. I mean like we're five six minutes in this video and I haven't even touched on the cancer community that this game is built around. When the number one YouTuber for Fortnite is this guy. I hope you guys are really excited for this because it's gonna be a good I just threw a sticky! I'm sticking with the stickies. Alright? I, I want to get some more action. Ah! Oh my gosh! Leave me alone! Please! No. I don't really think I want to be associated with this game anymore. But, I mean, the community behind this game is just actually ridiculous. Not just to pick on the LE. The majority of people that upload Fortnite content is it's pretty cancerous. Let's just keep it real. It's shiny thumbnails. It's big, stupid, open mouth faces. Look at they're eating a big, huge, giant. <laughs> How many free V-Bucks giveaways are we going to get here? Obviously, they're taking advantage of dumb little kids because, like I said at the beginning of this video, that's the majority of the fan base. That who makes up the biggest part of this game. And 17-year-old tryhard wannabe eSport dorks. Where are we dropping, boys, tonight? Oh, damn, but I'm hating. Oh, I got a Fortnite win. Like, no one gives a flying f*** that you won Fortnite game anymore, buddy. Get over it. No one gives a shit how many games you've won. No one cares about your stats. Let me know how that works out for you when you're applying for a job or when you're trying to crush some push push at the bar if you show some chick how many Fortnite wins you got. You know what I thought? I bet those girls really do care when they see the size of the bank account from that 100 million dollar esports that they're putting into the game. I bet they care for the girls that ain't thought yeah. You're just a hater ain't thought because you ain't good enough to get some of the piece of that 100 million dollar money. But the game sucks. Get over it. I don't care. It's done. It's boring, it's repetitive, it's the same thing over and over again. I don't care how many jetpacks they add to the game or how many different guns or skins they add to the game. At the end of the day, the core base of the game is boring. And the map that they have now sucks and makes it even more boring unless you want to play like that Mexican dude, Alex Ramy, and play like a I know I'm right. You know I'm right. Fortnite sucks. So please hit the like button because I know and you know that 12-year-old kids whose prefrontal lobes haven't developed yet and think Ninja and Alie are amazing YouTubers and Twitch streamers are going to dislike bomb this video like crazy. And with all that being said, my friends, I hope you enjoyed the video. My name is 8 Thoughts. And last but not least, and most importantly, you all need to stay black and let the honky crack reptilian shapes that are building movies harm. They're spraying camps on nothing. They're just Google Towers. Something that human grow worse than else is flat. The moon landing is fake. Alex Jones is Bill Hicks. White man.
bring it down. Yeah. <laughs>